Welcome to the Carr and Seguin Show, hosted by Devin Carr and Paul Seguin, where two Michiganders dive into real estate, outdoors, community building, and everything in between. Well, we're back in the studio. Yes, sir. For another episode. I forgot to post today's. I've been a little slacking. You've been doing good. No. No, you gotta, I think you gotta you've been slap. Doing good. You gotta send me some reminders. I think you've been doing good. Don't be no, I pass, I posted 95 on Monday. 96 was today, but I just it's on YouTube. So those of you guys watching, to help us out here a little bit, we got 35, 36 subscribers. Guys, we need only 964 to 1,000. Okay? So if you're listening, you're following us, you're watching this on YouTube right now, Click the subscribe button, hit the alerts, pound that like button, and let's go. Okay? There's my I like it. one uh, you know, encouragement for the day. That's all you get. <laughs> I'm I'm driving on Duncan today, okay? One of your favorites. My newly favorites. Newly favorite. Oh, and Johnny Did you get the post recording. Uh, you know, had it a little announcement. Because we today have uh, a special announcement. Yes. That uh, I'm announcing uh, that I'm excited about, but he uh, took a clip from uh, our podcast, uh, our show, I think last week or two weeks ago, where we talked a little about coffee because you're just non-human and don't drink any caffeine. Mm-hmm. And I am beyond Superman human and drink this <laughs> crap uh, like uh, going out of style and water. It looks like you got two cups. Well, because Duncan, Duncan doesn't give you the sleeve. Yeah. And it was, you know, hot, probably legal temperature of you know what's that new max temp people can uh, serve coffee because remember the lady who sued yeah. mcdonald's because mm-hmm. they they made it just i mean it was 180 degrees is pretty hot it's hot i mean golly you crank that sucker up and some <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah they don't have sleeves so they i say like can i get another cup so it just gives a little masking mm-hmm. you know to, don't burn don't burn the hands these are golfing hands, man. These are important, right. Jack. I would agree. Okay? I Can't would have agree. no uh, skin grafts happening on those suckers. Um, I don't know where I was going with that thought, but... Um, oh. You're running on Duncan. Running on Duncan, but he, he, he just played the clip before the show of that uh, when I went black coffee, mm-hmm. and I've never gone back. No whipped cream? No. Not even a splash? You know, no. Splash whipped cream. Not you deserve it. No, not not in um, not in just black coffee. No, you better just get you got it. Might as, like you know, whipped cream's got to be in like those foo foo drinks. Ah. Is what some people call it the caramel macchiatos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even though I am a huge fan of the uh, when the holiday season drinks come out for Starbucks, mm-hmm. the caramel brulee. Ooh. I think that's how you pronounce it. It sounds fancy. Dude, that is good. But when what I don't, what always kind of gets me like, oh, gosh, what am I drinking? When you look at the calorie count, you're like, that's 480 calories in that one drink? Yeah, I refuse to look at it. Like, what the frick? I don't, I don't. I mean, donuts have less calories than the drink I am drinking. Well, donuts are healthy. They're, they have less calories than even bagels. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a, one place I used to work, the guy would... Bring donuts in all the time. And you know how, you know, like vendors or whatever will come visit your business. Right. I don't know if you guys get people visiting your business every now and then, but like they'll bring like bagels. Yep. Or donuts. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, whatever. Coffee. Yep. Yep. And he's like, the only people that I like is the one that bring donuts because they're less calories compared to, da- to bagels. And I'm like, seriously? That's your reasoning? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was just because donuts are just <laughs> better. Better. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm thinking. No, Casey was so upset. He's like, no. I'm on a diet, and I don't want bread. I want a donut, fried donut. <laughs> I know. I know. Anyways, yeah. Um, no, so we have. Uh, I have an announcement. Big announcement. Yeah, exciting one. Yep. Um, I've done this before, and uh, sold it the agency, and then over the last few years. 
uh, of doing real estate full time, uh, focusly more. I've, I've just had these last little nibbles, these sprinklings mm -hmm, from clients mm -hmm. that just because I have past experience doing it and knowing kind of, uh, you know, what is important right. in homeowners policies to give you a little inclination of what the announcement is. Right. Um, I don't know. I've just had, I've helped some people that I hate to say it, but just got crap policies. And when I would go over them with them, cause I would always ask, I've always say like, Hey, if you know why you're getting homeowner insurance quotes, just send me them. I'll be more happy to review it. I used to sell insurance. Right. Like, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. You know, and, and I'm going to go over some some things that you should probably tonight, after you watch this, pull up your homeowner's insurance policy and make sure you have these coverages because they're important and mm -hmm. they're probably the most common ones that are not on homeowner's insurance policies. And they're probably one of the more bigger claims and the most common claims, but they're also the ones that are missing the most right. <laughs> on policies. Um, but I would just go review it and I'll explain their coverages and what I would what I'm about to recommend and recommend them because I don't, they're not on there. And, and I just had a few clients just say like, wow, why did you stop selling? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for other reasons. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I won't go down that road, but, um, so I think through a series of those conversations and, uh, you know, consulting the boss, my mm -hmm, wife, mm -hmm. um, uh, I am pleased to announce that the Seguin insurance agency is live <laughs> and hot baby. Where's the music? Yeah, where's the music, Johnny? Where's my picture? <laughs> yeah. Where is everything? <laughs> there it is. Oh, it just made it small. It went away. It's tiny. I don't even see it. Johnny. He, he, Damn, me neither. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Johnny's birthday is, you know, la la lamb. That, that beverage cart yeah, seems to right. be a little closer yeah. to his desk to this day. <laughs> Where the hell is it? <laughs> Don't be shy. Put it up there. We're trying to pull. Oh, there's, there's the logo there right go. there, baby. Seguin Insurance right. Agency. Home, auto, boat, commercial, and life. I threw the boat in there because Michigan is, uh, I believe, statistically, that might be right or wrong. Someone can correct me. I'm okay with being corrected. But I believe we're the second highest boat owners in the country. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. All the lakes. And we have yeah, all the lakes. Uh, we have the most shoreline mm -hmm. in the country. Everyone thinks it's probably like California. No, it's us, baby. Boom. Michigan. We are, we just are a great state. You know, besides these horrible winters, you know. It um, hasn't been bad till recently, though. We've been pretty lucky. It hasn't been great. The weather, the, the temperature has been nice. It's been, All the rain has sucked. Yes. Yeah. You, I mean, you, get, you, you bring f mid to low 40s and rain. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Then just give me spring, right? Make it at least fifty so I can bear the 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 rain. But you have this forty chill temp in the air, and it's just raining, and it's just it sucks, right? So honestly, like honestly, lately I'm cool with it. I'm cool with the snow and the fact that this morning when we woke up, it was like zero degrees. I mean zero. Oh, I know degrees. I know. It was cold. It was very cold. And I think it's a couple. I think it's supposed to stick around for a couple more days, isn't it? Hang yeah, out and a little next chilly. Week, I think it's got a couple. Back up in the forties in yep. rain. Here we go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, we're just a great state. But boat uh, on the logo. I had a couple people that I shared it with in the industry, and they're like, "Why'd you put boat on there?" I'm like, because nobody does. That's true. I'm trying to think outside the box. Well, yeah. And they're like, "Well, I mean, I mean, I saw your logo for the first time this morning." I was like, ooh, I like that. Yeah, I wanted... I like that. So there is an agency actually in Howell. I'm not going to bring light to them, but whatever. I just did. Because um, <laughs> this is my hour right now. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, no, but I love the... Obviously, I love being outdoors, and I love the rustic feel. I right. mean, in a Michigan, we're, we're known. I mean, unless you live on the moon for nature. I mean, we're, we're hunting, fishing. Right. We're surrounded by water. We just talked about second most highest registered boats in mm -hmm. the state in the country. Um, so I wanted to go with, you know, I love hunting. My favorite tree is the pine tree. For now, you know, you learned something about me. I freaking love pine trees, especially in the wintertime when you put some snow on them. Mm -hmm. I think they're the most that is, prettiest that is looking nice tree. With the, 
the snow. So when I had Wayne Media, shout out to Alex who created this logo for me here at Wayne Media. I told her I said one thing: I want antlers <laughs> and I want pine trees. Yeah. She's like, like together. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Somehow whittle them together uh, and then sequin insurance agency and then have home, auto, boat, commercial, and life. Um, you know, and that's what you look at. You When you when I did a, I mean, it's not the first time I've had an insurance agency, I'm, so I'm getting back into the saddle of it. But, and I'll explain why I'm doing it and st- I'm not putting the brakes on anything with real estate, y'all. So, mm-hmm. so don't think anything like that. Uh, this just adds to that, uh, to be 100% transparent. It's just... I think it just adds to the customer experience, but we'll get into that. But when you look at other insurance agency logos, they're all like, I don't know, it's almost like real estate, right? When when real estate or brokerages go create their logo and it's just, everyone has a house in it. <laughs> like yep. there's kind of a very similar, more than most common logo when mm-hmm. you look at other people's. And it's the same thing for insurance, kind of in a way, like they're all just very generic yep. to an extent. And so you got to be able to put it on everything. Yeah, yeah, and then on top of that, but they all said the same thing. It was always just a lot of them were just home and auto because for personal lines insurance, it's mm-hmm. the most popular because that's really what the most people carry. Right. But then commercial, business, same thing, and then obviously life. And I said, you know, but what's unique here to Michigan? And it's our we're surrounded by water. We're outdoors. Boats. Boats. Boats and hoes. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No hose, kids. <laughs> Stay in the straight and narrow. Um, but boats. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to put boat on there. And I've actually even had some people that have already, like, you know, seen my logo or even even as I'm getting all my carrier appointments, mm-hmm. reps are, are like, we're sharing emails back and forth. And they're like, that's kind of smart. I said, what? And they're like, boats in your logo. And I'm like, oh, well, thanks. I thought so, too. And they're yeah. like, no, like. What, what better way to remind people, like, hey, you got a boat? Let's yeah, insure right. it, right? And, I mean, you guys have a ton of them up there, you right. know? So we'll see how it works. Uh, I, I put it in there. Um, and so, yeah, so we're I'm launching the agency. Um, like I just kind of mentioned, the big reason was just from some past client conversations. Mm-hmm. I've done it before, but also I just wanted to, to be able to offer more to, to clients when it comes to the real estate. Uh, so we're an independent agency. Uh, I do have one other agent coming on probably in the next month or two who's, they're getting their license. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, that's why I say we, but we're independent. So I have access to over 25 personal line carriers. So that's for home, auto, boat, commercial. I have actually over like 30 uh, different um, carriers. So from all different walks of businesses, uh, if you own a business, obviously you got to have more than most, general liability, very common. Right. Uh, but depending on your type of industry, workman's comp, uh, maybe you need to have some commercial auto coverage because you got vehicles and trucks on the roads, you name it, uh, from all different kinds of business. So obviously, if you own a business, give me a call. We'd love to shop your insurance rates. We got lots of carriers are shopping through. Yep. Um, but just to add an overall experience, I think you're seeing it a lot right now in, in businesses. Um, there's one guy that I follow outside of actually even Grand Rapids. You know, they've in- created this one house under roof kind of business model. They have the real estate. They have the mortgage. They have the insurance. They have the title. Mm-hmm. They even have the financial planning. I mean, it's all under one umbrella within the company. And, you know, they're starting to do just some crazy stuff where they're just like giving a lot back in the savings if you, you know, right, are using yeah. all of these companies right. in house. So it's kind of just like that one stop shop kind of thing. And and it's not like I'm going to be starting to open a title or anything soon. It's right. just, and you know, who knows, maybe Lord willing down the road, but right now, because I, I know insurance, uh, I actually love talking about it. Just like I love talking about real estate. Obviously they go hand in hand. You get a mortgage, you're, you have to get insurance, homeowners insurance. Uh, your mortgage is going to require it. Right. So, they go hand in hand. Obviously, homeowner insurance protects the house. I sell houses. Pretty pretty simple, right? right. <laughs> so, um, and I, you know, I've just seen it over the years. I mean, in insurance, it's just like real estate. The average insurance agent's age is like 56. It's the same thing with real estate. Right. Average realtor is like in the 50s. 
right? So there's that opportunity of just, you know, being a little more younger, doing it in a different way right. than just an old school way. Um, but um, yeah, so just to kind of bring it all full, full circle for clients, uh, actually have my first contract, you know, under contract client right now that we're, we're doing their homeowners mm-hmm. in, in auto with, uh, but and as well, it's, you're in the same boat. Right. So, uh, it, that's it right there in, in the prime of the reason why I was doing it. Um, obviously you don't have to be a real estate client, right. uh, to reach out if you want quotes. Uh, like I said, we have over 20 carriers, Safeco, AAA, uh, state auto, uh, Liberty Mutual, Citizens, um, I mean, shoot, just to name some of the few who else. American Modern, uh, which is big in utilities and boats and stuff. Um, I mean, there's there's many, many more uh, that we work with. But, I mean, the bigger ones, AAA, Citizens, State mm-hmm. Auto, Safeco, Liberty Mutual. Um, so, yeah, love to, love to uh, have the opportunity to just see, shop around. And that's the goal about independent. Even when your policies come for renewal, we're going to shop you uh, every right. single year. There's no reason to keep you on one product. So uh, especially for those of you who are with a captive agency, you're going to learn something about insurance. There's independent agents where we are not tied to one company. We're mm-hmm. actually just tied to you, hopefully, Yep. if we deliver you on service. Um, and that's big on, on me. It's actually one of the main reasons why I left the former company I was with. Uh, service was kind of out of my control. I didn't like that. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't like not that. a big control freak, but at the end of the day when – I don't have really a control over how you're handling my clients. Right. I don't like it. Right. And they just took a lot of money from your pocket too. So anyways, we won't get into that beeswax. Um, but client service, you know, I mean, it's always available, right? And in claims, we're always there right through the process. I don't care. If, and that's the beauty of the, the insurance agent being independent, right? We're not tied to one carrier. Mm-hmm. We're not tied to right. making sure that we hit stuff with them, even though they have quotas. But at the end of the day, like I tell all of them, yeah, I'm going to give me good rates. I'm going to sell the heck out of you. Right. Right. But I'm going to go where whoever's giving the best rates. Well, yeah. Because that's how I keep my clients. Right. <laughs> <laughs> with also very good service. Uh, we will always be there behind the, the phone to, mm-hmm. to answer and take care of whether it's going through a claims process uh, holding your hand through that because that still goes through the carrier. Mm-hmm. And it's the same way for an independent agent or even a captive. Uh, we're there to walk you through it with right. the carrier. Make sure they are handling it correctly with your coverages. Um, but I think the biggest thing that I like to approach insurance, like real estate and like we do, is by education. Right. The biggest thing, like I just mentioned, is you see insurance quotes, policies, people that have had for years. And then you start talking about a few things and like, I've never heard of that. And that's just where it's just like, what the f- Come right. on guys, yeah. do a better job at explaining and educating your client on insurance. Right. Cause there's no worse time to be an agent. And I, I, I guess I just have over, I mean, shoot, I had my agency for a little over two years. sold a year and a half before that, like I've never had a bad phone call mm-hmm. to where it was like, the client calling pissed because they thought they were insured. Right. And, then the and they're not. Out, yeah. Or if they are, it's like little to none. Right. Coverage for it. Uh, and that's just all on the agent, not explaining. I get it. There's scenarios where you can it, quote or explain coverages and the client's going to decline. Right. But then that is, you know, um, very well documented. Right. <laughs> Remember Do you remember, time? Tom? Yeah. When we talked, <laughs> I told you that this is important. And you said, nope, you want to keep it lower. You're not wanting to pay for it. And then here we are. You have a claim. It's not covered because you denied it. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you want to add it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't cover you on this claim, but right. for future reference, it will. Uh, but no, I think a lot. So I'm going to go just dive right in yeah. to um, a few of the things. So the office is located in Dexter. It's where our home body is right now, Dexter, Michigan. Love that little town. Yeah, oh yeah. It's your hometown. Yep. It's great. It is. It's fabulous. Um, so our office is in Dexter. Um, you can check us out. Our website is seguininsuranceagency.com. Uh, so you can go on there, read a little bit about myself. Uh, if you want some quotes, we have a form. Click there, get get proposal. Just put in some basic information. 
The number one thing is deck pages. Whenever you want to get a good quote, send me your deck pages. It's declaration pages. It's a full summary of your current policies. I need home and auto and anything you have coverage on. Um, send them and we can get you proper, proper quotes. Five, 10 minute phone call just to gather date of births, all that good stuff. And I'll get to work for you. Um, but here are three things that I just want to touch on real quick because we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we're on a little tight schedule today. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, number one thing that I see on homeowners insurance, and this is what I was telling you earlier. After you watch this, or while you're watching it, pull up your homeowners insurance policies and start looking for these and see if you have them correctly, or you may not even have it at all. Right. <laughs> number one is liability. Now every homeowners insurance policy has liability but it's always super low. Liability, increasing your liability is probably the most smartest and inexpensive increase you could ever do to your policy. So if you are listening to me right now, I don't care where you are in the country either hearing this. If you have anything less than 500,000 on your homeowner's insurance policy, and some carriers max out at 500, so note that. Mm -hmm. Some carriers don't go higher than 500 on homeowner's insurance policies. Max it. To 500,000 then. 500 or above. Or above. There are there also are a lot of carriers that go to a million. It usually is half a million to a million. There's really nothing in between, mostly. Okay. But if your homeowner insurance policy maxes at 500, go to the full max. If you're looking at your homeowner insurance policy right now and it says 300, or it may even say horrible insurance agent, you have 100,000 then you need to call your agent immediately and say, increase my homeowner's liability. Why? Why is that important? That's what I was going to ask. Your homeowner's insurance policy follows you wherever you go. It is not limited to your home. It actually protects you wherever the heck you are in this whole world. And the reason why that's important is, I'm sorry to say it, but we live in a sue happy world. Yes. If you do something, I'm going to sue you. Yep. And you know what kicks in? Your homeowner's liability. And if you only have 100000 and someone sues you for two, three, four, five, I mean, do you see all those Sam Bernstein commercials these days? Do you see anything less than like $3 million? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's like, golly. <laughs> That's the truth. Like, what the frick are you suing for? Right. Oh, my arm won't work. <laughs> Anyways, I won't get into that. Um, but increase that liability. Max it out. It does nothing to your policy rate. Right? I'm telling you, it does Nothing. But at the end of the day, coming from only have a hundred or three hundred to two hundred, that's guys, it's two hundred it's thousands and thousands of dollars that your homeowner insurance policy is going to protect you. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna take it a little extra extra step forward. Because here's the number one policy, and I fully believe this. This is not document, this is just my belief. The number one policy that insurance agents never talk about an umbrella. And I've heard and have seen personally in agencies that have been a part of umbrella claims pay out in the millions to cover someone being sued in an accident in in anything a uh, defamation of name uh there's one story where there was a case through my other agency in another state where a, a young kid posted something about a teacher that was false but destroyed the teacher's career that teacher ended up suing the family because what was posted mm -hmm. for like $1.5 million and won in court. Now, if that family wasn't carrying an umbrella policy, they would have been, they would have been out a $1.5 million. But they had a $3 million umbrella policy that covered it. Ah. An umbrella policy is very inexpensive. And it's like you say, like, yeah, but, you know, I don't get in trouble. Well, do you plan on getting an accident today too? No. No. Insurance, I know, is not sexy. Nobody likes it. Oh, I've been paying for insurance for 50 years and never had to use it. Yeah, but that one day you do, you're, you're going to be glad you had it. Well, it's funny you say that because I think it was my first year when I was going to Alaska to guide. And like I shipped all my rods, a bunch of gear through uh, United States Postal Service. Mm -hmm. And I was doing it and... They're like, you want to buy insurance? And I was like, not really. <laughs> and I think it was, the max was like five grand. And I had well over five grand worth of stuff. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Right. And then I was walking out of the, 
the place and I was like, God, why did I do that? Why, why do I need that? And then I got to, I think it was two days or a week Because it was later. probably like, what, like 80, 90 bucks? Yeah. It wasn't I was like, cheap. Well, it wasn't too, yeah. I mean, I was 21 at the time. Yeah. And, uh, and then I got to the airport, was sitting in Alaska, waiting for another flight. And I checked on my tracking stuff. And one was still sitting in like Allen Park. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> That's not Alaska. No. <laughs> no. And meanwhile, like, I'm about to get another flight to King Sam or to Dillingham and I mean, I don't really have cell service there or anything like that. So my mom's helping me. And needless to say, all nine of my fly rods never left the Allen Park, Michigan. And never were found. Never were found. Again. No. <laughs> I mean, it was well over $10,000 worth of no. rods. And were they easily, like, seenable? Like, to where if someone knew, like, what those were? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna take I mean, they were small. They were in a, a bag. Yeah. I mean, they're all one size right it looks like a, even if you didn't weren't into fly fishing you might have thought it was a bunch of regular rods right conventional rods but i mean just never not left. knowing they're like five six seven hundred dollar rods a piece yeah. <laughs> I mean, just never left oh my gosh because then were, i was like oh. they weren't there they got scanned in right and, and they, they never, never left, left. <laughs> and i mean it was like oh. thankfully i had the insurance which only paid you five grand right or right yeah i mean it was enough but it was better than nothing yeah right i mean that's the moral of the story well yeah yeah i it's, didn't think why did i why do i need that and trust me like i get it like i'm I, i'm here telling you insurance but like when it comes to my tv like no i don't buy no when they always offer like hey you want to buy the two year yeah. uh 30 dollar uh insurance I'm like no no i, I mean if i drop it and i'm dumb enough uh i'll come buy another 800 dollar tv right yeah <laughs> <laughs> You know, but when it comes to like the amount of money that we're talking about, because I mean, these are real life. That's a real life story. I didn't make right. that up. I mean, there's many other claims I can email me because I actually subscribe to this service that is a monthly newsletter that is comes from one of the biggest. There's they're more of like a specialty commercial carrier, but mm-hmm. they post nationwide umbrella claims uh-huh. just for examples, lawsuits in courts that are being literally completed and sued, but then it also shows you where the coverage is coming from, and it tells you, like, straight up. Right. It's getting paid out by an umbrella policy or a homeowner's and the... Because it's on top of your homeowner. So if you're carrying a million on your homeowners, and we also include on top of what your umbrella policy, hence its name, umbrellas like this, Mm -hmm. you slide Mm -hmm. your home and auto under there or your boat... Cozy. Or your your utility or four wheelers, right. dirt bikes, you name it, you name it. It covers all of those policies. So if anything was to happen in an, in an auto accident, the umbrella also is there. So on top of your, you know, say your auto is carrying two hundred fifty thousand, five hundred thousand. Well, now it's one point two five and one point five. Right. If you're carrying a million on your home, now you have two million. Right. Just because an umbrella policy starts at a million coverage. We can easily look at a two, a three, a four, a five, mm-hmm. a ten, uh, depending on just your exposure. Right. And we'll talk about that, right? Then that all really depends on your assets, how right. much assets you have to protect. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's what a lot of times in court they go after. Well, well you, you got uh, I see you, you got money. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. Uh, well, we'll go after a little extra. Right. You know, that's all the lawyers and those, they, they're like, oh, we can, you know, we may only need to ask for one five, but we'll... Just slide in a couple more. Right. And then we'll negotiate down and get what we want. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll all be happy. He's got it. Right. But that's why you have insurance. So umbrella, one is homeowners. If you have 100, 300, call your agent. Tell them, I want you to max my homeowner's liability out. And because you're a dummy and you've never talked to me about an umbrella, let's talk. Right. I'm telling you, it, an umbrella policy could easily be 100 bucks. To, to depending on the size, a couple hundred, maybe four or five hundred a year. And some people are like, yeah, well, I, well you're, I'm going to spend that extra not to, you know, it's, it's not the matter of you spending a couple extra hundred dollars to just never use it. It's getting you a million or more 
in coverage mm-hmm. when the worst of the worst happens. And guys, right. that's what insurance is for. Secondly is water backup, and I know we'll be quick here. Water backup, I think, is one of the most important. Number one claim in homeowner's insurance comes from water. water. And everybody forgets <laughs> about the basement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for some reason, I don't know. Why insurance agents don't talk about, hey, do you have a basement? Well, I under, don't know. It's underground. You should know when you're doing a when a yeah. you're doing a quote, right? I hope. Right. But I have seen some over the years where like, oh, you're on a crawl. No, I'm on a basement. Oh, well, it's funny. Look on page three. Because there's always there's always a uh, on, on your homeowner's policy, there's one page that talks about the description of your house. That's a, here's another that's another tip. Why don't you pull up your homeowner insurance and scroll down to the page that talks about your house? Is the square footage right? Is the number of bedrooms, bathrooms right? Is the, is the foundation correct? Are you on a slab, but it says basement? Well, guess what? You're being charged for a basement. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, like, you look at it. Uh, and, I, and I hate saying this stuff, but it's the truth, guys. It's, it's, this is the stuff I've seen. Mm-hmm. Um, so make sure that's right. But water back, so backup is important because water is the number one claim. The cool thing about water backup is it's an endorsement on your homeowners and policy. It's not a standard. That's why a lot of homeowners don't have it. Right. Because it's not it's not standard. Right. It's an endorsement. It has to be added to your homeowners policy. The cool thing about an endorsement is it's a full value coverage. So if you have a loss where your water backup is in, you know, covered, mm-hmm. they hand you a check for that full amount. So like we just had a client that I just did last week. They did not have uh, water back up, but they finished their basement. He said they spent about $15,000 doing it. So I gave him 20,000 backup coverage. So if anything happens, here you go. Here's a check for 20. Go f- repair. Right. That's a, kind of the cool thing about it, but it is the most common oh, yeah. claim, y'all. It is sewer and sub pump water backup coverage. Do you have a sub pump? You need it. Right. If you got sewers in your basement, you probably do, baby. You need it. Mm-hmm. At least in some people are like, oh, it's unfinished. Great. Five grand then. Right. You need something because when it happens and you don't have coverage and you call me and you're like, dude, well, what the heck? What do you mean? I told you. I, I always include it in all my quotes, mm-hmm. whether they have it or not. It's always in my quotes and I explain it why I quote every single time with it in it because I explain them why you need it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I think uh, we'll leave it at that for now because I'm sure we'll have... You know, with me now having the agency, we'll have a few uh, shows. Well, yeah, on uh, you know homeowner stuff. I think one other cool thing, and we'll say it, we'll leave them on the hook. Michigan is not only a huge boating state. What else are we? Hunting. Well, what do you gotta? What do you gotta have to hunt? Guns. And guys, there's one big shocker, and we'll talk about this. But a lot of your homeowners insurance policies do not cover jack Mm -hmm. when it comes to guns and i have one particular carrier that loves guns and they're a big homeowners they got great rates i absolutely love them but they love guns too and they're known for it and i mean i was even having a conversation with my my rep how when i sold before it was a huge talking piece when i found out they were a hunter and they had guns i'm like well then we need to talk about this company right right now how much coverage do you have on your guns i don't know how many guns do you have? Oh, like 15. Well, how much do you think they're worth? Oh, I, you know. Don't give it so, away. You're, you're I'm start, not. You're starting, it's to ex- give it, it's you're starting to give it away. So there is, that's the big thing. We're a big hunting, fishing. Guys, get your products insured. Call me. Seguin Insurance Agencies. Seventh agency. I'm all excited. I can't I, even finish yeah, my sentences here. Uh, uh, 734-786-3915. Or go to seguininsuranceagency.com. Check us out. Facebook, inst- uh, not Instagram, yet. LinkedIn. Uh, yeah. Exciting, man. Yeah. So there it is. Give us a call. Love to help you. Love saving money. Love getting more coverage for and saving you money at the same time. Getting you protected so you can sleep at night. So when the worst of the worst happens, you're insured. Right. And I'd love to be the man to call at 2 a.m. Hey, dude, we're a house on fire. Let's go. <laughs> Putting my boots on, driving right. there. Let's go. All right. Well, that's it. Big Just news, a little announcement. Man. Big news. <laughs> Big news. There it is. There's the lovely. Yeah. There's the lovely logo. Put some comments below. Let me know how you think about it. I'd love to know. It's wonderful. I like it. I do. 
It's hard not to. I've had a few people like, but that's insurance. I'm like, yeah, you see the fresh, that's that's my Michigan logo. I like I hunting. I like pine trees. Yeah. Don't judge me. Right. Just just call me with insurance quotes, okay? Make it a great day. All right, I'm Paul Seguin with EXP Realty and Seguin Insurance Agency. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a new show just for <laughs> Paul's sign-off. <laughs> I'm Devin Carr with Gold Star Mortgage. And this is the Car and Sequence Show. See you. The primary purpose of this podcast series is to inform, entertain, and educate. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast series do not constitute legal or professional advice, opinions, or endorsements of any kind. Gold Star Mortgage Financial Group. NMLS 3446, Equal Housing Lender.